Hi everyone, uh, I'd like to do a video about Amethyst from Steven Universe today. Uh, I know I had her in a couple of videos, but this is going to be a little different. I just want to talk a little bit about this character. Um, so Amethyst, I feel there was something the show has kind of missed about her character, hasn't spent a lot of time talking about. Um, unlike the the other characters, who's, uh, the other Crystal Gems, at least, whose story I feel is more fleshed out, like Pearl and Garnet. Uh, the way I've thought about it recently is that from uh, for the entire first season or so, and somewhat less so in the second season, but still until the answer, um, Garnet was probably the most mysterious character of the crystal gems and then we found out you know at the end that she was a fusion at the end of season one and then at, by the end of season two in the episode the answer is near the end she told the whole story of how she became garnet to steven so <clears throat> at that point I think the most mysterious character of the Crystal Gems became Pearl. Because there were a lot of questions about her past and where she came from. And her relationship with Rose. You know. That uh, were kind of left unanswered for a while. And some people guessed that they, their connection was important. Some people got kind of close to the idea. And some people, a few people actually got it right. But... Uh, basically, her story is completely revealed in A Single Pale Rose. That's in Season 5 episode. In the middle of Season 5. Now, uh, with that being said, Amethyst... Um, you know, Amethyst back Amethyst's backstory has, of course, been talked about in the show. In... A late season one episode, she tells the story of how she came from the kindergarten, and when she got out of the, when she, you know, emerged from the wall, there was no one else left. She had come out late, and that's why she is shorter than other quartzes, and that kind of thing. Similar gems to her. And also mentioned about Amethyst was her story about uh, her relationship with Rose and Greg and their, you know, their friendships or whatever before, you know, before Steven came to be. Uh, and that, I feel, is the thing that's most, the most glaring omission about Amethyst in the show. That it was talked about, but we never really got Amethyst to mention that she, you know, talk in detail about her friendships with Greg and Rose. Um, and I feel like that they kind of dropped the ball with that, you know, and now that Steven Universe Future is kind of... I don't even know if it's going to continue, although there's still questions about that that I don't understand. There's the whole thing with how White Diamond supposedly becomes a villain again. Just This is just based on the intro, short scenes from the intro to the show. And, of course, that giant worm monster. These never showed up in the show. The rest of the characters in that villain spot there were... You know, they were... We know their story. But we don't understand... It wasn't explained. About White Diamond and the giant centipede or whatever. Not centipede. That's unfair to centipedal. But, uh... Yeah, so those stories. But that's kind of off topic from what I want to talk about here. Now, the show actually did, has spent a little bit more time talking about the origins of the characters ex of Pearl, for example. Very late in the show, uh, in the movie, we see how Pearls, the way Pearls are, are made or come into existence is different than other gems. They come from... You know, there's a whole episode detailing it. But in the movie, we see that you know, everyone gets reset to their original state the because of Spinel uh, and Pearl 
comes out of like a clamshell, like a pearl in the real world would, and on Earth and whatever in real life. And then she's basically she serves the first per- person the first person she sees, who in this case happened to be Greg or the first person who talks to her. I don't know. And then there's an episode in Steven Universe Future featuring uh, Pink Pearl or Volleyball, as she... <laughs> I, I love that nickname. It's hilarious. Um, and it talks a little bit more about that. They go back to... I don't know. Give me a break. I've kind of forgotten a little bit, but... They go back to the place where the pearls come from to find out about Pearl's history. I don't know. Anyway, we do we get some explanations about that, and we also get some explanation about how Amethyst sort of first came to be in the movie. At least a little bit of a visual guide. Not really. They don't say anything, but they show like a montage when she comes out of the came out of the ground, and and again when they all get reverted. Amethyst is you know very very generic looking, almost like robotic. And, of course, she's small and everything. And we see her come out of the ground in a flashback later on when she restores her memory or whatever. But, you know, and she imit- seems to imitate every <laughs> everyone else's comments and movements. Um, and, you know, I don't really need to get in Garnet. There wasn't really much new there. It was kind of interesting how they, you know, separated. Oh, well, Garnet first came to be... You know, this is how Garnet first came to be, but that didn't quite restore her memory. It wasn't until they were, you know, it was later in the later on in the movie that Garnet is truly restored to her normal self. But anyway, back to Amethyst. Um, yeah, I just feel like they could have had, and I know Amethyst isn't really this the kind of person to to do this, maybe, because of the, her character, you know, she's kind of, like, f- fun-loving, easygoing, usually, I mean, obviously she has her demons and her insecurities and that kind of thing, but she's not usually the kind to say, oh, I'm gonna tell a long story, unless she's, like, stressed out about it or something, like, in, uh, on the run, but I still feel like they could have done something, you know, so, Stephen, this is where, this is how I, you know, what happened after she came out of the ground and no one was there. There's still some things I'm not clear on. Maybe other people understand this, but the timeline of, like, you know, Amethyst came out after the war was over. Is that right? Um, so, basically, it was just her and the three other crystal gems. Um, I think most of that has been cleared up. But in regards to Amethyst, I feel like still they didn't, um, they haven't, they never really got into that much detail about it. I would have liked to see an episode where, you know, there was of course an episode, a flashback where they, where Greg tells the story of how he met Rose, which of course he's told that to Stephen before, but he, this isn't it, when it was came out, it was new to the audience. And he was telling it, oh, well, I haven't told you about Marty, or whatever. It's just an excuse to tell the story again, but that's fine. And they show this gems back when, you know, Greg first met Rose. And Amethyst, um, you know, Amethyst, Rose, Garnet, and, and Pearl are there. But there, I feel like there wasn't really too much interaction between Pearl and, not Pearl, sorry. Plenty of interaction with Pearl. But with uh, Amethyst and Rose Quartz. Um, so, I would have liked to seen an episode to have seen an episode where there was, you know, something... Maybe how Rose first meets Amethyst and they how they become friends and that kind of thing. Or later on when Amethyst is, like, hanging out with Greg and that kind of thing. Something, something like that. I think that would have helped, and I'm a little disappointed that that hasn't come up yet. And I feel like other people, not a lot of people, talk about this. I did searches for it, like on Google, but I couldn't really find much. So I, did, you know, I decided, okay, I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna talk about this, um, because I feel like it's kind of important. Amethyst. I mean, I like the, I like all crystal gems, but amethyst might be my favorite. 
you know, she's just kind of like a fun character. Um, and I feel like she kind of sh has been shortchanged in that respect as far as, you know, backstory, character development, at least in the past. I mean, in the, you know, in the, in terms of the show, she's had a lot of character development, which is great, but I just feel like that part of her story is, has kind of been left out. And it would be nice if they had expanded upon it. I mean, that's probably not going to happen now, but it could. I don't know if Steven Universe Future is going to come back. That's the only thing. If they do, it would be nice to see something like that. But I just feel like I should at least talk about it and say, well, I feel like it's kind of been lacking. Maybe there will be some kind of comic about Amethyst in the past. Maybe there has been. Maybe I just missed this, and I'm sure Rebecca Sugar and whoever else has probably talked about this, but from what I've seen, I haven't... You know, I'm just not satisfied with what I've seen and as far as uh, Amethyst's full origin story, her relationships with characters like Amethyst, Amethyst, um, with herself, uh, I mean Rose Quartz, of course, and Craig Universe, which are only, which is only kind of alluded to in, in one episode where, what was it, when was that episode, season two episode? dad museum or whatever something like that uh, when she, you know when they're watching the tv show and then the old ep reruns of little butler uh, and i feel like there should have been more of that especially with amethyst and rose i mean there was basically no interaction between amethyst and rose quartz in the show and i understand that in, t in the timeline of the show yes there's no rose quartz is gone she's part of the past but there's been several episodes where they went back and Rose Quartz, of course, is an important character. She was the leader of the Crystal Gems and, you know, I feel like they, they there wasn't much between her and Amethyst. And sometimes I don't feel, I'm not sure if she's more friends with Amethyst or Amethyst. I keep saying that, but I mean Rose Quartz and or Greg they're both quartzes okay I can use that as an excuse although technically rose quartz isn't a quartz but let's not go there um yeah that's about that's about that's the thing I'm just not sure if she's more friends with Rose or Greg and maybe I'm just I just missed something but it wasn't obvious to me and I wish it was made more clear in the show what kind of relationship Amethyst and Rose Quartz had um I guess that's all I wanted to say. I mean, it managed to talk for a bit about a couple other things, but basically it was about Amethyst and, you know, Rose Quartz and their relationship and how it just never really... It just never really materialized in the show, like, talking about, oh, this is... Where are the Crystal Gems? Welcome, and that kind of thing. That's something I feel like Rose would, would have said to Amethyst. I don't know. There just wasn't that much to go on in the show proper, at least. Maybe I missed something in the comics or some comments, but again, that's I feel like it should have been in the show. Um, I just wonder what you all think about this. Uh, it's something that's been bugging me for a while, and I just thought I'd bring it up. Uh, leave a comment below, and I promise I'll make some Equestria Girls video soon if I, you know, have time. I... <laughs> I have an idea for some kind of blue character. I don't know. You might be able to guess. Um, okay, so that's all I'm going to say for now, and I said a lot. So, see you later.